Hello YouTube, it's Sonny here with Hobbies of Man once again and today we are looking at another manga and we're going to be doing a manga review. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Fairy Tale Zero. This is the prequel manga to Fairy Tale. Um, this is written by Hiromashima of course and the publisher here is Kadansha as you guys can see right there. This is what the cover looks like. Uh, I think this is the right way to do it. Yep. And the demographic here is shown and this actually didn't release in the same magazine, this released in the Fairy Tale exclusive magazine, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, the genres here are fantasy adventure, and the, this does have an adaptation. The eighth season of the Fairy Tale anime actually is Fairy Tale Zero, so there you go. And uh, the premise here is basically this is a prequel to Fairy Tale, and it tells us the story of Mavis Vermilion, the first uh, master of Fairy Tale, and also how Fairy Tale came to be. And there really isn't much more to that. I think it's actually a pretty good uh, story. I liked it quite a bit. It does have all of those classic Mashima things. Like it has that emotional gut punch and it has that little bit of like, uh, you know, like tugs at your heartstrings kind of thing where, you know, there's this little kid that happens to have a rough childhood who then just wants family and friends and eventually finds them. And, you know, there's a struggle there to get to that point. I think it's really, really good. Um, overall, very, very interesting. So. Uh, I quite like it a lot. So the plot line here is super solid, lots of good stuff. There's this classic Mashima stuff that I told you about, but there's also kind of pretty good action scenes and some pretty interesting kind of intelligence-based battles because Mavis Vermillion is of course the fairy tactician and she is the kind of tactical genius of fairy tale, right? So you have to have some smart battles there that she can win uh, to show that off so that it makes sense later on in the story, right? So. Yeah, it basically starts with Mavis Revillian as a little kid. Uh, she's part of a guild um, and she's living on Cyrus Island, which is what eventually becomes Tenro Island, of course, uh, the holy site of fairy tale. And um, this, uh, you know, evil thing happens. Uh, her people get slaughtered and she's left alone on this island. She lives there alone for quite a few years and then eventually some. Uh, Bounty hunters show up to try to find a special special magic item and Mavis joins them um, on their adventure. These guys happen to be uh, Prekt, who would be the second master of fairy tale, Yuri, who is the father of the third master of fairy tale, and uh, Warad, which is a guy that ends up being a magic uh, saint in the fairy tale world during the happenings of the original fairy tale storyline, right? So. Um, then they go on these adventures and throughout this they eventually develop a uh, positive and very meaningful friendship with each other. Some bad stuff happens and eventually we get fairy tale uh, established and Magnolia becomes a key uh, place in the country thanks to fairy tale being there. So pretty good stuff. I actually liked it a lot. I thought it was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Just love it a lot. And I actually did cry a little bit <laughs> by the end of the story because there's this really interesting a plot twist there with one of the characters that I just loved a lot, but also made me super sad because poor Mavis, right? So yeah, uh, in terms of characters, we have Mavis Vermillion, the smart girl, she's cute uh, and she's really fun. I actually really like her. I liked her when she was first introduced uh, in the original fairy tale anime and manga. And I also like it uh, here where she is her own character. Um, I like Zara, who is a friend of Mavis, um, but she did give me some sad boy hours because poor girl. And, uh, you know, we have Yuri, Warred, and Pretch, who are the cool dudes that are the bouncy hunters that eventually become part of Fairy Tale. And uh, we also have some characters that eventually become relevant, like um, the dude that started Phantom Lord, uh, and then um, some, some other people there, but I can't remember exactly who. Um, there's some other, you know, characters that show up later in the story, so I thought that was pretty cool. In terms of world building, it's great because it actually manages to seamlessly interject itself into the fairy tale story without feeling unnecessary because a lot of prequels have this uh, situation where they feel unnecessary because it's like why do we need this if you've already generally told us the story of these characters beforehand but this doesn't happen uh in this uh series so i like that a lot i thought it was really well done and um i like that you know we get introduced to a few different uh magic guilds like blue uh, skull we get to see the development of Fairy Tale and Magnolia as two entities that join together to become better through each other. I like that a lot. I thought the art was awesome, of course. 
Uh, it's fairy tale, so the art's gonna definitely be good regardless of uh, anything else. And I think there is a little bit of fan service there, but it is not too much. It's mostly like a bath scene. Um, and then it's pretty standard fare for Mashima. There's nothing actually uh, weird or anything of like Mashima's weirder, kind of more hentai-esque kind of uh, fan service -y bits here. So that's good. And yeah, in terms of rating this a four out of five, I think it's great. It's wonderful. Um, it doesn't really get five out of five because if you don't care about fairy tale, this is not gonna be the greatest, like that good of a, a series for you. If you like fairy tale, this is definitely gonna be good. So, you know, that's why I wouldn't uh, give it a five out of five because it's not necessarily great on its own. It's only great as part of the larger fairy tale story, right? So there you go, that's, a, that's why it's a four out of five. I, I definitely recommend it. If you like fairy tale, definitely check this out. It's gonna be really good. You're gonna feel a lot of things and you're gonna really enjoy it. And it's gonna add a lot of character to Mavis. So definitely uh, read it if you like it. Of course, similar titles here are Fairy Tale, Eden Zero, and Black Clover, um, which to me, Black Clover is always like, if Naruto and Fairy Tale had a baby, and I know a lot of people are gonna argue and be like, Naruto doesn't have anything to do with Black Clover, and I know this, Black Clover is mostly based on Bleach and Berserk, but it still feels like Naruto to me, so I'm just stupid, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, if you like Fairy Tale, you'll probably like Black Clover, and if you like uh, Black Clover, you'll probably end up liking this as well, so. Yeah, that's uh, all I have to say about this. It's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty small book, um, but it is pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys later.